Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2.05 p.m. on uh, a Thursday afternoon, and this is uh, the first uh, mobile YouTube upload uh, that I'm doing. And if this works out well, then this we're going to uh, supplement uh, the Twitter Perisc uh, Periscope broadcast that I do, all for the benefit of uh, members and traders uh, in the Clueless A trading group. Okay. So what's happening here is pretty uh, monumental. This is an exact pattern symmetry of uh, you know what I've shown for uh, months and months now, and uh, this is what's playing out. So what we have here is a gap fill, as uh, as I've mentioned, and this is on the SPX, and you can see that at uh, 20, yeah, like 2042, 2043, like I've talked about, right? And what's going on here is that. Okay, that's better, that's better. Okay, so what's going on here is we are entering the gap fill, but looking at the pattern symmetry, uh, the pattern of what's going on here on this rising wedge, look like it's gonna basically have a power breakout. Now, if it's gonna, if it does a power breakout, we have levels that we are gonna encounter major resistance. Uh, the, uh, the first one would be around 2084, 21, uh, and that'll replicate this particular portion of the move and replicate it out here, right? Above that, we can, uh, and that would be the downtrend line inter, in, intersection at around 20, 20.63.47. I just have to keep on refocusing this, but touching the iPhone screen. Anyway, the bottom line is that this is a very powerful move here. Uh, looking down at the stochastics, this I had mentioned uh, weeks ago, that we could break out, these are the slow stochastics on the lower bottom, right? So that we can stay overbought for weeks in a row. When I look at my swing 533 chart, it tells me that there's another two, possibly another two weeks, if not three, left of this rally. That should bring us up to test the highs, and then then we uh, uh, then we you know then we hit a roadblock, and we pull back. In my opinion, we pull pull, pull back uh, uh, um, at least have a uh, substantial retracement. Whichever the case, you look at the short term uh, uh, slow uh, fast stochastics here. Certainly overbought. But it doesn't seem to be coming down uh, below the 70, 75 level here. And that's a sign of um, relative strength. That's the bottom line. So looking at this here as people are pondering, oh, where are we topping? It's the same thing as when we kept on asking or many of you kept on asking, where are we bottoming? Look at this move down here. This was a straight 90 degree fall. What's happening here in between some, uh, the double bottom and all these uh, corrections uh, and you can see this consolidation, which is good. That lets off the hot air. That this is moving more in a 45 degree angle. I covered this extensively in one of my advanced coaching sessions. So this is actually a better way of doing things than having a big fat V-shaped move um, like this one, in which case uh, the rally would be exhausted a lot quicker. Here it's taking its time. Uh, and this happened very quickly. And I had said that before, that the faster it happens, the better it is. And now that we're climbing, uh, it is a very strong possibility that this particular move, these two red candles, and this is a daily chart, gets replicated here. So if so, that's it. That's what I wanted to show. And uh, we have another trend line up. I mean, downtrend line here at 2100, and we could hit that by the end of March. So just want to show this pattern. I'll put the static chart out there, and I will tell. Um, uh, strongly recommend, suggest that every single member who hasn't participated or enrolled in advanced coaching sessions is truly missing out on some serious premium education and understanding the technicalities of the market, both fundamental and technical. So that's it for now. Thank you for listening. This is Clueless 8. And would like to get some feedback on this YouTube broadcast so that I know if I should be doing these more. Thank you.